Righto, tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be looking at the ASUS Republic of Gaming Strix Magnus Gaming Microphone. And this thing here is going to take your gaming, your streaming to the next level. A lot of people when they game or stream they use headsets. Well this is much better than a headset. If you look at most pro streamers on Twitch and stuff like that, they will be using a dedicated microphone. And this one here, it's actually aimed at gamers of course being a Strix product. But because it can be used in quarter ride mode, stereo mode, and it also has an environment noise cancelling mode as well. So not just for gaming, like even if you're at an event and you have to record two or three people, this thing is great for doing that because it's so light, it's so compact compared to other condenser mics, and it is a condenser mic, it is very small and compact, and you also get a carry case with it that's padded too, so you can take this around with you everywhere on the go. This thing has got you covered there. Just looking at it, it does have that gaming aesthetic, sort of like a transformer look. Either you like that thing or you don't. But one thing's for sure, it's certainly built well. Very small and compact as I said. On the left hand side you have the mute on and off button. Under that you have the RGB illumination button on and off. And the thing about this is the RGB is on the back, so like when you're streaming people can see it in your stream. And of course, if you use Republic of Gaming or Strix stuff, this is the one for you because it's going to link up with all your Republic of Gaming stuff and it will sync with the Aura software. So all the RGB will be matching there. Also, you have a volume dial for the headphones. You have the USB port where you connect to the computer. You also have the headphone jacks there. On the right hand side, you have the button to switch in between the modes. So you can switch between Corduroy, Stereo or Environment Noise Cancelling Mode. You also have the microphone volume dial and this thing here is almost like a DAC, almost like an audio hub because you also have an auxiliary import which you can connect your mobile phone or musical instrument into this. That's fantastic. And you also have another USB import where you can connect mouse, keyboard or any other peripheral into this. So it acts as a hub there too. So solid build, gamer aesthetic, RGB lighting, that's pretty cool. Not only is the build high quality, the actual capsules are high quality. You, you get three 14mm studio grade condenser capsules and when I actually plugged it into the PC and it's so easy, you just plug it into the PC, it just works. That's how simple it is to set up. No software, anything like that. But when I did connect it, the default frequency is actually 48,000 hertz there. So it is studio grade quality. Now, there is always a debate, condenser mics, dynamic mics, which mics are better. But one problem with condenser mics is they usually pick up the background noise. They are high quality. They give you a great sound, but that background noise is a problem. This actually here has environmental noise cancelling and it actually does work. It does pick up a lot less noise from the environment. So it does help out in that regard. So that's fantastic that it does do that. So let's have a listen in game how it sounds and it does take your game into the next level because it just sounds so much better. Just let's have a listen in game how it sounds. So this microphone isn't just for playing games like when you're playing casual games with your mates or whatever. That sort of thing doesn't require a great microphone. But definitely if you're streaming to Twitch or YouTube gaming or something like that, you do want a better microphone. And right now this is set in the solo corduroy mode. So it's just picking up sounds from directly in front of it. Now I'll put it in its stereo mode now. So this is in stereo mode now, so you should be hearing surround sound. So I'm going around to the left now, and you probably hear that on the left. I'm going around to the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm going around to the right. So you should hear that in the right ear now. So that's the stereo mode. Now I'm going to switch it to the noise cancelling mode because there is a very noisy Titan X in the background here. If you can hear that, it might have cancelled that out, hopefully. All right, fellas, now I am in game and this is the sound quality you can expect. Can you hear my computer in the background? Let me know there. I'll check it out once I'm finished. Um, so this is it. This is the quality you're gonna get. Let's go, 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 go. Let's kill some people. Oh, hello. Bit chaotic here. Oh. 
Come on, come on, yeah, baby. Oh, 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 come on. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. I just had my way. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Enough of that. This is the sound quality. I think you'll find that it's pretty good because I have tested it before. So, yeah, catch you in the next one. So there you have it, judge for yourself. That's in game, remember? If you wanna just set this up in this like a studio mode and put it in cardioid mode and just like use it as a studio microphone, you can do that. But in gaming, I think you'll agree that sounds really good. So if this video is helpful, guys, give me a thumbs up there. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.